Hello everyone. Uh, I'm here now in New Zealand. In Henderson and it's very cold. It's freezing. And I can't sleep so I just take a walk. And it's very quiet although it's almost 6 and it's still dark. Tomorrow or maybe next day We'll going to Hobbiton, uh, the settings of the movie Hobbit. You know that? Have you seen it? Or Lord of the Rings? <sighs> because I can't sleep, uh, I roam around the city. Uh, yeah, I can't believe I'm here. Thank you, Lord. you don't want to take a photo, make sure you park your car safely and don't park it on the side of the road because they, they're too narrow. Lots of trucks. Now we're going up this road. This The name of this road here is Buckland Road and it's uh, part of Peter Jackson's movie. Uh, Peter, uh, it's uh, actually an area in the Shire which is called Buckland. And people ask me, uh, have asked me if uh, did Peter Jackson have this road change to Buckland? Uh, name of the road change because it's in his movie. It's always been here. It's over over 100 years old. It's 100 years old. This uh, this road, known as Buckland Road. Of course, those farmers there are not 100 years old. Hey, uh, very busy our road now, uh, especially over the. Uh, Peter Jackson's uh, Lord of the Rings movies. It took him nine months to build that movie set. And he was filming here for three months for the Lord of the Rings. Ten years later, he came back to do the Hobbiton. And it took him two years to build that set. And that's it. Everyone, I'm going to be your driver down to the set today. And my name, believe it or not, is Pip. Just like yeah. the little Hobbit yeah. woman. Yeah. I know, same height and everything, they tell me. <laughs> In fact, if I'm perfectly honest, I am probably the closest thing that you're going to see to a hobbit today. What about second breakfast? <laughs> nah, I have more than two. Hello, I just want to welcome you on your journey to Hobbiton. I'm very, very pleased that you're able to take the time to go to our semis, but the sips and the costumes and the props that you make there, they all just get thrown away. And so I'm delighted that Hobbiton has managed to survive, and I'm really pleased that you're taking the time to visit us, and I hope that you enjoy yourself. It's been years ago that we were flying around the helicopter and found the Alexander Farm from the air, and it, uh, for some reason from the air it looked right and when we landed, and it was absolutely good. I'm sure he is, and especially to Russell, um, who has been in the graduate business partner in hand, and uh, then you'll see yourself doing a fantastic show that you can make. Very well. So thank This was Rolling Green Hill. After the completion of filming the Lord of the Rings, the Team, now one of the first things that Peter had to do was build this road that we're driving on. Now he didn't have enough money way back then to do this by himself, so he asked the New Zealand Prime Minister for a little bit of help. This was Helen Clark, she said she would love to help, but she didn't have the money in the budget either. But she came up with another plan the very next day. She sent the New Zealand Army all the way up here because they were very busy that day. And they built this road for Peter Jackson. The Shire. West Farthing. Bag End. Bagshot Road. Hobbiton. Arch Bridge, which is the same one that you see Gandalf trotting across on his horse and cart at the beginning of the movie. You know the safety stuff you can tell that the grass is real mushy from the rain yesterday. So if we could stay on the path and off of it, it'll be the best for your shoes and no one will get tackled by a gardener. So, who here seen the movies? Oh, there's a few people, okay. Has anybody read the books? Bang in. <laughs> 
dans le sud et d'eau. Je vais prendre des photos de ma caméra. Je vais prendre des photos de ma caméra. Où est-ce que c'est Où est-ce que c'est Où est-ce que c'est Où est-ce que c'est I've lost Josie, where's she going? She's up right there. Oh my god, where's she going? Did you say adorable? So, since I have some big nerds, I feel like I have big nerds. If anybody wants to recreate the I'm going on an adventure scene, now is the time to do it. Do Something it with a staff, or maybe? <laughs> if you really want to film it, I have one of me, and it's, it's like now or never, because we're not going to be back in this area. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> It's like my part of the set, that is Gandalf's cutting, kind of the beginning of both series. Who remembers the beginning of the fellowship? Right out the cutting, where we walked in. That was a long few days for Martin Freeman. Okay, so it takes about two hours to get those feet on. They're big, they're floppy, you can feel the rocks under your feet. They fill with sweat immediately. Gross. They set him up there and made him run down. He's in a Yeah. They're the right size, they're the right shape. The problem is people like me exist who obsessively read the books and will go on home. Like I was really ready to do that. So they had to have people come out to remove all the leaves and the fruit. And then they hand attached plums and plum leaves. 12 acres just goes way off into the distance. It worked really well. They spent four months building these five hobbit holes and they spent about <laughs> end of the last Hobbit movie, Bilbo comes home, the camera moves, and then they disappear forever. So if they weren't permanent, no one would ever see them because you wouldn't remember the last three seconds of the movie. So it's great. The one you can see from the top, the furthest one away, is the house that I would like to move into someday if they let me. It's really cool. So you can sit outside and underneath the ground at the same time. It's just good property, that's all. That's what I like about it. Um, follow. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we'll get up there. We'll go slow. <laughs> Three. They use for the Lord of the Rings. First, it was B. Come on, hurry up. Don't have a lot of time. This is from the movie set, The Hobbits. Uh, the place of Bilbo Baggins. You think it's sunrise, but it's sunset. Yeah, it's sunset. Tom has, has absorbed all information. <laughs> what are we guys? Yeah. <laughs> You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when stars are gray. You never know here how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Thank you very much. You're and here's one right here. Unfortunately, I can't hop out of the bus and open the gates. Now, that, it pains me. But we're going to move on. Five past five. All right, so those of you heading back to Mata Mata, uh, the bus is going to park, and it will depart at five past five. So if you could be back on the bus then, then you'll get back to where you need to be. So if you need to step off to go to the washroom, that's totally fine. Otherwise, you can hang out here. 
So I hope you guys have a great rest of your trip in New Zealand. However long or short it is, it's an awesome country. I know you're gonna love it. And thank you from me for being such an awesome giant group because you guys make my job the best job in the world. I have the most fun. And I'm really appreciative that you spent a couple hours chilling with me.